Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is uh, what I think is going to be a short video. And in this hopefully short video, I'm going to show you the system I've been using for my daily logs and how that I'm, I'm trying to integrate those daily logs into Basecamp uh, for billable work. And uh, should be uh, should be quick. So what you see on the screen in front of you is uh, what one of my daily logs looks like in Inkscape, which is an open source vector graphics program. It's kind of like Adobe Illustrator a little bit. It's actually better in some ways. And so this is the template that I use. I typically fill these out every workday. Uh, I will occasionally do one on the weekend, not always. Uh, and I've been doing this for about a mm, year and a half. So I have a daily log for almost every workday for the last year and a half. And so what I do is I actually keep a clipboard and uh, write my notes by hand on the clipboard. And then uh, usually two or three times a week, I jump into Inkscape and uh, just make a copy of this template and actually go in and edit it with the notes. Then these get PDF'd. They also get printed and put in a binder. All right, so the system I'm using is basically bullet journaling, uh, which is a it's a type of journaling, type of daily log. I don't follow it strictly, um, but it, I found the idea intriguing, and I've implemented it at least part of it. Um, there's some things I could do, I could do better on, of course, and uh, maybe we'll talk about that a little bit. So let me just explain real quick what these icons are on the left. So I have. Uh, task categories and I've got two here so this is a little icon of a total station I made this is just for my stuff then I have the BKF logo that's my day job at BKF engineers so I put BKF related stuff gets this logo and I would say probably 90% of my stuff is BKF related because that's where I spend most of my work days and then I have two categories of task type so this is kind of past and this is future <laughs> so this is stuff that's been done that i want to note in the log and this is stuff that i might want to do in the future um, i'm not doing a great job of this this is part of bullet this is part of bullet journaling is kind of jotting down your thoughts when they pop in your head i need to do a better job of this so that might be one of the goals i work on for 2020 so primarily right now this last year and a half i've just been trying to write down the, the things that I do every day. And I, not everything, but the important stuff. So let's just go through these icons real quick. So this is, uh, if I have an in-person meeting, this is a completed task. This is a phone call or text message I've made. This is an important email that I've sent or received. And then down here, future task types. This is just uh, an idea that pops in my head. This is a question I want to write down to answer later. This is a search topic that uh, might come across. This is a place I want to visit. This is a really important thing that I don't want to forget. This is a task that I need to follow up on. This is an idea for a video like this one. This is an idea for a workshop or presentation. This is an idea for an article or blog post. And this is a future task that I need to make sure I, I get in my hopper and I get completed. And as I mentioned, I'm not doing a good job of writing these down in my daily logs. That's that's something I'm going to try and do a better job of. And ideally, this these types of things will go on my daily log and then we'll, we'll get put into Trello when I review my daily logs. So over here you can see the example of my daily log for Tuesday, December 31st. So as a general rule, I, I kind of keep this segregated. I keep non-billable tasks at the top and then I, I keep billable or project related tasks on the bottom. And so uh, usually every day, every other day, I have a daily huddle with my team. So that's what happened here first on Tuesday. Uh, this isn't necessarily in chronological order. Uh, but then you can see what I've got here. This is a completed task that I did for BKF. This is our job number. And then what did I do? I supervised supplemental topo drafting by Hunter, shipped a preliminary supplemental topo to our civil team. And I prepared and sent out the utility mark and locate field package for the new parking lot and trash and closure work areas. I just kind of go in and give myself a note for each thing I did. These are usually very short and snappy. Um, I try and be understandable, but I use abbreviations. I don't go crazy with the detail. Okay, so that's what that looks like in Inkscape. So here's what it looks like after I plot it to PDF. Pretty simple. So you can see Tuesday, I only had four or five really important things that I wanted to write down. 
then what I try and do after I've made the PDF, immediately after I've made the PDF, I've been trying to integrate this into Basecamp. So let me pull over Basecamp. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that for this day. I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to pull this PDF over into my other monitor. You won't be able to see it. But what I like to do then is for my billable tasks on my daily, my daily log, my bullet journal, I like to just go in and add those to the message board in Basecamp. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick our first job here, which is this 191666. And I'm going to come into the message board. You can see I already have a couple updates. So we're going to add one for the 31st. And it's a little silly, but I talk about when I do these updates, I talk about myself in the, uh, I don't know if it's the first person or what you call it, but I use my proper name. I don't say I. Um, so then, and then in these comments, I, I typically add a little more detail because there's some more room. So I'll say something like Landon supervise the supplement, whoop, supplemental topo drafting for the new parking lot and trash enclosure design. Let's say supplemental topo drafting by Hunter Stetson. And then if I have one or more than one thing, which in this case I do, we'll just bullet list that. I'm going to say Landon prepared and sent the utility mark and locate field package, the new parking lot, and whoop, trash enclosure work areas to the utility locator. Then I say post this message. And so now if you come into the message board, uh, you can see these get posted in reverse chronological order. You can kind of go in and see what's been done on this project. So I haven't done it yet, but ideally my team would be giving me uh, some short one or two sentence notes as well. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm going to just I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. So we'll come back to our projects page. And this is a new job that we've got started here in Lathrop. So I'm going to post a message here. And I always name these messages the same. And I'm going to say, Landon coordinated site access and the schedule a field survey with BKS Civil. I obviously can't spell. I also can't type when I've got my microphone in front of me. Yeah, I'm going to make this a bullet list because i got one more. Um, I made the initial survey handoff to Danny. So Danny's going to run this little topo survey for me. And we'll post that message. We'll go back make sure it's in the message board. So that's, uh, that's how I'm running my daily logs, guys. Right here is my daily log. And how I'm trying to integrate these uh, comments for billable projects into the message board for Basecamp. And uh, I, I'm going to post this to my uh, personal website, landonblake.com, uh, with some links so you can download those Inkscape templates. And the post will also have the video. All right, I made it under 10 minutes. Try to keep this short. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.